Welcome back everyone to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is July the 13th, 2021, and we've got some movers to go over here today. But before we do that, I do have some links in my description. One is a Patreon link with a variety of tiers, so please check that out. I would love to have you guys on board. I also have a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using that link, I actually get a small bonus from that, and it really helps support the channel. I also have a discount code for your playmat where you can buy custom playmats or make your own. Here are my lovely patreon supporters thank you all so much for supporting the channel you guys are the absolute best okay let's jump into these movers here today starting to list off with giant tortoise this is the light version of the card from arabian nights it's very rare that we see arabian nights cards on the loser section but it's down 9.38 percent from 1151 to 1043 our next loser is Hellkite Tyrant from Commander 2016. This is the reprint originally printed in Gate Crash. This is down 11.18% from 1476 to 1311. We've got Utopia Sprawl from Dissension. This common is down 12.52% from 1638 to 1433. Our next loser on the list is Botanical Sanctum from Kaladesh. This fast land is down 18.40% from 614 to $5. Our last loser on the list is Hullbreacher from Commander Legends. This is on here because it is now banned in Commander. Yes, it's banned. It's down 58% from 2069 to 870. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with Greater Oromancy from Shadowmoor. This rare enchantment is up 5.09% from 69.95 to 73.51. This card is currently seeing play in the Enchantress build in Modern, but it also sees a bit of play in Commander, like Sithis Harvest Hand decks. The next card on our list is Fiery Islet from Modern Horizons. This dual land is up 5.32% from 2687 to 2830. This card is currently seeing most of its play in Modern right now, where it sees play in Blitz, and then it also sees a bit of play in Delver of Seekers, which is a very popular deck in Modern at the moment. And our next card on the list is Wooded Foothills. This is the original printing from Onslaught. This fetch land is up 5.48% from 80.54 to 84.95. If you compare its price to the Wooded Foothills from Kansas here, it's about $46 to $84. So it's roughly around double the price for the Onslaught version. This card is seeing play currently in modern crashing footfalls, but it sees a variety of play in other commander decks as well. We have Vengevine from Rise of the Eldrazi. This mythic is up 6% from 1831 to 1942. This card is seeing play currently across a variety of formats, but the format that is utilizing it the most is Vintage Hogak Vine decks. It also sees a bit of play in Legacy Hogak and some modern Crab Vine play. The next card on our list is Force of Vigor from the original Modern Horizons. This card is up 6.45% from 1581 to 1683. This card is currently seeing play across a variety of formats like Modern Amulet Titan, Salt Eye Midrange and Vintage, Knight of the Reliquary and Legacy, and even Chatterfang Squirrel General decks in Commander. The next card on our list today is Chalice of the Void. This is the Time Spiller Remastered version of the card, which is the most recent printing. It's up 7.63% from $37.75 to $40.63. Now this card is seeing play in Golo Stacks and Vintage, sees a bit of play in Black, Red, and Modern, and Hogak Vine and Vintage, but it also sees a bit of play in Mono Red and Legacy. Magnetic Mountain from Arabian Nights. This card is up 8.64% from $21.75 to 2363. Now this card sees a bit of play in Togo Goblin Weaponsmith decks in Commander, and this card did have its print run disclosed, and there is only 31,000 copies from the original Arabian Nights. The next card on our list is a reserve list card. It is Field of Dreams from Legends. This card is up 9.25% from 204 to 223. Sees a bit of play in Commander, especially Xanathar Guild Kingpin, which is a card we got recently in Dungeons and Dragons. And this card did have its print run disclosed, and because it's a rare, there's only 19,300 copies of this card ever printed. And the next card is Shizo, Death's Storehouse from Champions of Kamigawa. This legendary land is up 11.18% from 2255 to 2507. This card was recently printed in Mystery Boosters and it came in foil. That card price currently is about $28 on the market compared to the $25 for the original version. Pretty comparable. This card is seeing play in Black, Red, and Modern. And it sees a bit of play in Commander like Kirk, Son of Yawgmoth decks. 
The next card on our list today is Subtlety from Modern Horizons 2. This is one of the Evoke Mythics. It's up 11.30% from 11.59 to 12.90. Now this card is currently seeing play in Modern Crashing Football decks and also Living End in Modern and it sees a bit of other modern play as well. The next card on our list today is Whirling Dervish from Legends. This Legends Uncommon is up 13.74% from 1841 to 2094. Now this card had its print run disclosed, and there's only 57,900 copies ever printed. The next card is another card from Legends, Chromium, and this Legendary card is up 20% from $74.97 to $90. Now, this card does see a bit of play in more from the Boundless decks, and because it's rare, there's only 19,300 copies ever printed. We have Alpine Moon as our number one spot. This is from Corset 2019. It's up 54.69% from 256 to 396. This card is seeing play in Blitz and Modern and Black Red. It also sees a bit of play in Is It Phoenix and Pioneer as well. Now we're going to take a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with Read the Runes from Onslaught. This old border foil is up 24.14% from 12.47 to 15.48. And the next foil mover on our list is Aether Rift, a foil from Invasion. It's up 24.48% from 7.23 to $9. Our next foil mover is... Pulse of Lanoir from Invasion, another card from Invasion. This old border foil is up 35% from 1902 to 2575. The next card on our list is Nakata War Pride from Future Sight. This card is up 36.62% from 1024 to $14. And we've got Ostracize from Urza's Legacy. This old border foil is up 38.93% from $9 to $12.49. Okay, and we have Pyroclasm. This is the 10th edition printing of the card. It's up 39.33% from 328 to 457. And our next foil mover on the list today is Kirin Negotiations from Mercadian Masses. Old Border Foil is up 44.73% from 1433 to $20.74. And the next foil mover we have on our list today, Fertile Ground from Lorwyn. This enchantment is up 46% from $2.39 to $3.49. And the next foil mover we have on our list today, Frenzied Tilling from Invasion. This beautiful gold old border foil is up 81.41% from $3.55 to $6.44. And our last card on the list puffer extract from mercadian mass this card is up 161.40 percent from 342 to 894 okay thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my magic the gathering market movers it really really means a lot to me and if you could hit that like button so this video does get shared in youtube's algorithm as i'm trying to grow my channel I also make these videos from Monday to Friday, so please come back tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Mover so I can give you your daily updates. Let me know in the comments what your favorite mover of the day was, which card you're most surprised to see, and how many cards on the list today you actually own. With that being said, I will be here tomorrow, so come join me again and enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.